What is up ladies and gentlemen, this is Brandon and I am back uh, on the last episode of I Build It, You Buy It or I Fix It, You Buy It, whatever you want to call this series. Um, the views didn't do, it didn't do horrible, but didn't do great, but actually the guy that ended up buying it found me through eBay and then he's like, oh dude, I clicked on your, your YouTube link down below in the description and then checked out your, uh, your video and he's like, you're very thorough and showed me everything about the system and I'm like, bro, I'm just trying to be honest to you because like right now, if you go on eBay and type in like gaming computer, all you see is like a, a like 90% of the systems are like stock photos of like a case and like a graphics card. And it's like you're scrolling through the photos and it's like, you know, it's all stock stuff. It's not real. So I'm just trying to bring a little bit of realism back to eBay, back to YouTube. Uh, let's let's create an open dialogue. He asked me some questions. He was worried about playing some certain games. So I ended up loading them up for him and taking a little video on the side and being like, yeah, bro, here, this is what kind of performance you can get. I just want you to be happy. If it's not going to work for you, don't buy it. And um, we ended up uh, meeting at a really, really solid price. I, I came down $10 and um, yeah, it, I mean, I was happy. He was happy. Everybody's happy. So now we're on to the second build and um, uh, I can't wait to get started. So for the case, we are working with a Fractal Designs case. It is the Focus G in white. So oh man look at this yeah so this this budget build is going to have a brand new case Ooh, she's pretty um just to give you all a brief rundown of what we're looking at on this system it's going to be a ryzen system so so the first first ryzen budget build was second technically only second build on the show but anyway it's a ryzen 3 1200 which is a four core four thread uh first generation ryzen um, quad core, basically entry level, uh, but it stuff definitely can still get some gaming done. Uh, and actually that little Ryzen chip can do a little bit of mining too. Obviously the benchmarks will be uh, at the end of this video, but um, I'm just super stoked to get this together. I think it's a B350 motherboard. Motherboard's nothing special. Um, it does have two full-size PCI Express slots, so you could run two graphics cards. I don't think it has Crossfire or SLI support, so they would just run independently like for mining or something like that. But um, the graphics card we're going to be going with is an AMD RX 570, I believe. Obviously, all this is subject to change by the end of the video, so for full specifications, look down in the description. Uh, but I believe it's a 574 gig, uh, good entry mid-range. Those cards have come down now, and you can pick them up for like 100 bucks, and they do awesome at like 1080p gaming. So, um, 4 gigs of DDR4 RAM, obviously that's like a must nowadays. I'm, oh, sorry two four gig sticks so you're looking at eight gigs total but um eight gigs is absolutely like bottom like minimum requirements for like almost everything nowadays uh so that should get the job done we are going to be rocking a 128 gigabyte uh, m.2 ssd drive so straight onto the motherboard no wires flopping all around really clean look um just using a stock uh, amd cooler and I think that's about it. Did I forget anything? Oh, for power supply, I'm not sure. I think I have a 600 watt EVGA um, or a 500 watt. I'm gonna be grabbing one of those and putting them in there. So we'll see as the uh, the time goes on. We're not gonna be running a, a CD or DVD drive. Um, and as for mass storage, um, see, I'm I'm probably not gonna do that because I asked a couple people would they rather buy a system with like a 500 or one terabyte. Uh, hard drive or would they rather just save the money and ha buy a little bit cheaper system that way they could put their own uh, larger SSD in later and most of them want to just do an SSD later but I don't want to invest the money into a large SSD in the beginning because some people don't even need that um, you know so you could get by on the 120 um, in the beginning and then and then pop in whatever you wanted to later on so this is uh, I'm gonna try to keep this system right around that, that $400 range which should be doable um, Obviously, the, the price and stuff will be in the eBay link, and that will be down below in the description. But um, I, th I think we'll be right there. If not, maybe a little bit cheaper. So let's just stay tuned. I'm going to go ahead and montage putting this thing together, and then we'll talk about it and get some benchmarks done. So let's go. By the way, I just wanted to give a huge shout-out to the, the guy on eBay that bought this. 
Um, thank you, bro. Uh, I'm gonna package this thing up good. Obviously, this is the case for, or this is the the, the foam and stuff for the Fractal Designs case. But I'm gonna shove some uh, little popcorn and peanuts and stuff down in there and wrap it up real good before I send it out. But uh, thank you for buying it. And uh, this thing was turnaround time for me building it, uploading the video, and selling it was all in less than a week. So obviously, there's some demand for an honest. Uh, computer builder and uh, computer seller out there right now which I'm just gonna just keep it up and um, guys I have been contacted and we're gonna be doing a couple custom builds coming up soon one is actually gonna be at the end of this week so just uh, keep a look out for that if you like computer building uh, definitely stay tuned All right, so the RAM we're going to be going with is, it's unfortunately mismatched, but it is at least the same speed. We have a stick of Ballistics 2400 megahertz, and then we have a stick of Patriot 2400 megahertz. So uh, they're both four gig sticks for a total of eight gigabytes of DDR4. The, uh, the motherboard is the AB350 Gaming K4 by ASRock. It's the Fatality 1 uh, motherboard, so it's pretty cool looking. It's actually got a reinforced PCI Express slot right here and a, uh, another full PCI Express 16 slot, and then also some times one slots. Uh, this is going to be our M.2. This is our boot drive. It's a 120 gigabyte A data SSD. Um, you're going to have uh, room to expand your memory because we're going to only be occupying two of those slots. So you could add in another uh, 8 gigs to go to 16 gigs, or you could add, add even more than that if you want to spend some more money. Um, we're running a stock air cooler on top of the Ryzen, 12, uh, Ryzen 3 1200, so nothing fancy there. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get ready to pop this thing in. Uh, it did come with the I.O. plate, so this was a used motherboard, but boom, we got an I.O. plate that's never been opened, so that's kind of interesting. Uh, so yeah, let's get to it. All right, so the power supply in question here is an EVGA 850 watt. This is the uh, GQ, so it's the gold series. Um, awesome power supplies. Uh, I bought this used, so it's a little dirty. I'm gonna try to get some of the dust bunnies out of there and clean it off. Um, it will come with the a uh, couple extra cables, but uh, basically it's got your PCI Express. It's got your CPU for the uh, motherboard. Um, it's got a the uh, 24 pin for the motherboard and then I had a I had a SATA cable around here front somewhere for it so uh, just message me about that so I, I'll include that in case you want to add a, a SATA drive in there so yeah let's throw it in All right, so the graphics card, we're gonna be going with this powerhouse right here. This is the XFX AMD Radeon RX 580, eight gigabytes. So it's got plenty of VRAM on here to do any modern gaming. Uh, the 580 does lack when it comes to uh, high resolution, so you're not gonna be able to do any uh, high frame rate 4K. I have seen where some people have done 4K stuff for like uh, video and um, like watching movies no problem on this but uh, gaming you're not gonna get 60 frames 4k not any day of the week uh, but luckily for 1080p gaming no problem even some 1440p gaming uh, is possible on a, on a 588 gig so um, this bad boy is gonna need a full uh, 8 pin power plug right there and um, yeah, it's got a nice little back plate on it. It's a, it's a nice card. Look, it's got some copper heat pipes. Uh, it's, a, it's a big card. It's a big card. So uh, I'm going to...
clean this thing up a little bit. It's got some dust in there. Uh, and we're going to be slapping her in. Ready to go. This thing's turning out better than I thought it would. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so here it is in all its glory. Um, let me get a little, let me open the side panel just to show you what exactly everything's looking like now that it's all kind of uh, cleaned up. By the way, the side panel does still have the plastic on it. For So you people that like to peel this plastic off, I will leave that on there. I will give you that satisfaction. Okay, so I was able to actually clean up some of the wire management a little bit better. Route it all back behind there and kind of tucked it in. We have our Radeon RX 580 8 gig. This is the XFX model. We have the uh, Ryzen 3 1200. We have 8 gigs of DDR4 RAM, 2400 megahertz. The 850 watt gold GQ EVGA 80 plus rated power supply. Um, it's got two fans up here in the front. And this is going to be the first power on. So let's go ahead and, and power it on and see what it looks like. Alright, so um, these fans actually have some little lights on it. Did not even realize that. Let's see. Can you see it through the front? Yeah, you kind of can. That's that's pretty cool look. Um, there's really no RGB in this build. Just, just I guess, a little bit of that white light because nothing else had RGB on it. Uh, this is pretty much just a performance entry-level gaming rig uh, running off of that M.2 SSD for the boot drive. I don't have a hard drive for some mass storage like I was talking about earlier. I'll just make sure that the price reflects it so I'll sell a little bit cheaper. So let me get uh, Windows installed on this thing. Got a USB drive here, and we'll be back once we do some benchmarking. Starting off right away with a little bit of mining. I just threw nice hash on here and got it up and running. It's doing about 45 cents a day on these clocks. Just a very mild overclock. All right, now I loaded up some Apex Legends. We're running on uh, medium settings on 1080, but I think you could be even more aggressive and load it on uh, pretty much full high settings because um, it's pretty much locked on 60 frames. Has no problem keeping up with that. I was running on a 60 FPS monitor, so I couldn't really do much more than that, but uh, still, look at that. Just no problem holding 60 FPS. Um, and this is also with running OBS in the background, so good to know. Alright, and to finish it out, we're running Cinebench R15, and uh, going to see how this little bad boy does. The score will end up uh, right here, uh, next to where it says CPU run. 